guys welcome back to the channel Nate's Pink Bookshelf my name is Nate Denise for those of you who are new to the channel or who just happened to stumble across this video and today's video is going to be an almost collective made to July book haul I know that I'm missing books because they're still in transit or they're lost in transit or they're on my bookshelves and I really just don't feel like taking them off my shelves so I'm going to share the books that I have that are like not on the shelves right now but know that I'm pretty sure there were way more than this. But um, I'm going to start off with the books that are the two books that I received from my mom as well as the books that I purchased and then get into the review books because I have review books from two different companies. So um, the first two books, like I said, are books that my mom got me. She found out about the Double Day Book Club and decided to sign up. She wanted to get me some books and, you know, I was here for it. So I opted to do it. Sorry if you guys hear that. But um, I said, cool. So the first one I got is Nora Roberts' um, The Rise of Magics. This is book three in the Chronicle of the One. I do have the first book, which is called Year One. The first book I do own in mass market paperback up on this shelf. Um, It's actually this white book right here. But um, yeah, I got a hardcover of book three. So I just need to get book two. Um, I haven't read it. I've heard great things about it. All that I know is that this is an adult urban fantasy, possibly. I'm not sure if this is urban fantasy or not, but I know that it deals with like fantasy aspects. So that's all I know. It says a match for the end of the world classics like Stephen King's The Stand. So it has to do with the end of the world, magic, and all that great stuff, paranormal, supernatural aspects. And I heard great things about it. So I'm excited to own book three and book one. I just need to get book two now. So yeah, that's the first book. Following that, I ended up getting this Fountains of Silence by Ruta Sapetis, but this came in a Book of the Month copy, which is perfectly fine. We know I love Book of the Month. You see that show? Yeah, we love, we know. But um, this is the Book of the Month copy, and all that I know, this, this is YA historical fiction, pretty much, and it has to tie in with some type of photography. Don't know much about it. I'm super excited to read it, and let me see, let me see. Oh, I like the yellow and black Bumblebee style. I like that. But yeah, it came from Double Day book club but it's a book of the month copy not sure how that works but it doesn't bother me so we have that okay so now moving on to the two books that i purchased from book of the month i did not get any books for may and june because i just didn't care to get a book for may and june um but i did see some books that i wanted for july so i ended up doing that so my actual pick for july was mexican gothic by sylvia moreno garcia i do own of um gods of jade and shadow i also own her other two books um certain dark things and i think the other one is called the beautiful ones i own e arcs of those two books but i have the two copies of these so i'm definitely gonna have like a month to read and this is actually going to be a book club pick in october i believe for the busy Bee book club which is hosted by erin over at booked and busy she has a book club that she started and i'm so enjoying it um so yeah i'm excited for that so we have this all that i know is that this is okay so this is supposed to be like adult fantasy but i've heard that it's more so psychological thriller slash horror i'm not really sure i just know that this cover is giving me life um i love this cover so much and i'm excited to read it so i'm going to read this after i read her other books because i definitely want to get to those but we have that and my second pick for book of the month for july was marie lou the kingdom of back this is YA fantasy that deals more so with music it is basically following the sister of Mozart and um, I just think it's going to be epic. I am a music lover. I'm a dancer, semi singer. Um, and yeah, I'm just excited for what this book is going to offer. I've been hearing good things about it so far. So I'm super stoked for this. Okay, so now moving on to books that I purchased. I have three that I got from Barnes and Nobles when my Barnes and Nobles opened up and I have five from Amazon because Amazon is like the best way to order books right now because yeah so i have the eye of the world by um robert jordan this is the first book in the willow time series i know this is a 14 book series <laughs> yeah um i like this little mass market paperback it's super cute hopefully it doesn't break because i noticed that my other ones tend to break um i might regret buying the mass market but i think it's cute i love the color and i love the like red foiling on it but um yeah all i know is that this is adult high fantasy don't know anything else i heard great things i want to get into this following that i have the obeliscate by nk jemison this is book two in the broken earth trilogy i read the fifth season <laughs> it tore me to pieces so we need to continue on this is fantasy like it's adult fantasy it is epic it is amazing only thing i don't like about the series is a second person pov that irritates me but once you get settled in that pov the book flows so yeah we have this 
Okay, and the last book I got from Barnes & Noble is Evan Winter is the Rage of Dragons. All I know is that this is adult fantasy that is African-based, if I'm not mistaken. And, um, yeah, that's all I know. I'm not going to get into depth with, like, my thoughts on these books just because um, there are so many books and I need to clean my bookshelf. So, we have that and I'm super excited. This is actually going to be the book club pick for the Busy Bee Book Club hosted by Aaron over at Booked and Busy for the month of August. So I'm super excited to dive into this. I heard many great things about it and I can't wait to read this baby. I'm also going to be including this in my Tome Topple Round 12 TBR so that video is coming soon. Okay like I said then I got some books from um, Amazon. So I have one YA dystopian i think this is a dystopian um and it is going to be sci by neil schusterman this is the first book in the arc of the Scythe trilogy i do own all three on ebook but i figured i'd get the uh physical copies so yes dystopian basically it's a utopian type of society where uh there's no death and they have these scythes that actually go out to murder people to kind of keep the population like together i guess i don't really know anything about this except that it's dystopian there's murdering and that's it the rest of these are all like high fantasies adult because you know we love adult fantasy so we have foundry signed by robert jackson bennett um this is the first book in oh i don't even know what this series is called i don't know if the series is called foundry side i'm not really sure but um this is book one in the series trying to see yeah, it doesn't say but um i own three other books from robert jackson bennett haven't read them they're on my shelf so um so that's a problem but this is also going to be the book club pick for the busy book club in september no so, yeah september oh september book club pick so i picked this up right away just to have it and um, i'm super super excited to dive into this book following that i have jade city by fonda lee all i know is that this is adult fantasy that's based off of asian sort of gangsters um and it deals with jade that's it um, I know in one of my vlogs that I did for the reading brush, I said that I thought this dealt with the elements. It's not the elements. It's more so Jade. Obviously, it's just Jade City. I wasn't thinking at the time, but yeah, I don't. That's all I know. Asian inspired, gangsters, Jade. That's all I need to know. Then I got the second book in the Mistborn series. Um, this is The Well of Ascension. This is book two following uh, my first book is called Mistborn. So I'm gonna say Mistborn. I can't. Rem I can never remember the actual title of the book. It's on the screen, but um, my first book is Mistborn. I have the mass market paperback up there. Um, so I got the second book because I'm actually a little bit behind on the Cosmere Long. For the months of August and September, they will be diving into Warbreaker. I have already read Warbreaker, so I will be catching up with The Well of Ascension and then The Hero of Ages, which is book three in the Mistborn, um, the first Mistborn trilogy. So I got this so that I could read it, and it will be on my Tome Topple TBR. The last book I got from Amazon is going to be The City We Became by N.K. Jemisin, and this is adult urban fantasy based on New York City. It's a love letter from N.K. Jemisin to New York City, and as a New Yorker, this has my heart, my feels, my soul, like everything. This book basically gives New York City a person that it can encompass as well as the five boroughs. So there are six people representing New York. They are the epitome of New Yorkers and I tell you she did this on point. This was on it this was on the T. Like I can't wait for book two because I have I, I need I need things answered, okay? Answered. But we have this. I loved it. I read it, tabbed it up. This was the Busy Bee Book Club pick for the month of July and the live show was going to be this Saturday. So I'm glad that I finished it and I cannot wait. And if you do want to read this, I would say read the audio, listen to the audiobook while reading. The audiobook is like crazy music, sound effects, epic, 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 epic. But this was phenomenal. Okay, the next book I got was from Simon & Schuster. Um, I was actually a part of a blog tour for a company, but that company, there was some type of issue, I guess, when the whole george floyd thing came about um so there was a little bit of an issue with racism going on with that company and some back and forth they shut the company down but they reopened it recently under a new name so i still work with the company but they have a new name i don't know what the whole drama is i don't keep up on that drama i try to stay out of booktube drama um but i did get this specifically from the publishing company because they opted not to work with the comp with that block tour company anymore so it is the black kids by christina hammond's read i actually just recently finished reading this this was really beautifully written um you can see the tabs can you see the tabs yeah i have a review coming on this as well as a book makeup inspired look 
on this book it was phenomenal this is why a historical fiction set during the time of the rodney king murder um and the riots and this is literally like it parallels everything we're going through right now and it follows ashley bennett who was basically raised very different from most black kids um you know her parents try to keep her away from the black lifestyle um and it's not until the rodney king riots and things that she begins to understand her blackness and who she is as a black person and how um being black is very frowned upon pretty much at this time so i enjoyed this it was phenomenal and i can't wait to share my thoughts with you guys okay the next book is called shadow unbound by angie day um i don't remember which company i got this from i got this from a blog tour company don't remember which one so yeah i know that it's ya fantasy ya fantasy that's that's all that i know i don't know anything else about this honestly i can't remember where it came from and i have to look through my emails to figure that out which is bad but yeah we have shadow unbound which is book two in a series or is this the first book i don't know i'm not gonna sit here like i do know because i don't know so all the information for this book will be on the screen because i'm not gonna front like i know i don't remember being honest so moving on next books are a set of books that i got from a blog store company that i work with um i will put their new name on the screen because they go by a new company name now they did switch up some things because of some drama don't know but i got these before the drama actually ensued um so the first one is found by pc cast and kirsten cast it's the fourth book in the house of night otherworld series which is basically a spin-off to the house of night series i have not read the house of night series um like at all i know that it's a long series it's a ya paranormal almost urban fantasy that deals with vampires um i haven't read the first one but i have been reading the spinoff and i have adored the first three books so i'm excited for the fourth one um and these covers i adore now you will understand what um this design means in the book there is an explanation to that i just i love their covers so I do have the first two books in paperback and now I have the, the next two, the books three and four in hardcover, which is epic. So yeah. Okay, the next one I got is The Glimmers by Luann G. Smith. This is actually the sequel to The Vine Witch and this is going to be YA fantasy. Um, so yeah. Then following that, the last three books are actually together. So I got The Tiger at Midnight by, I'm not even going to attempt to say this author's name. There it is. I don't want to butcher it, but I got The Tiger at Midnight and then I received um, an ARC and a finished copy of the archer at dawn so yes i actually do like the finished copy it's hardcover and it's really really pretty um i don't think there was anything on the oh the book was actually yellow but um yeah i received an art art copy and then i got the finished copy as like a thank you from the publishing company so that is epic and um yeah so this is book one this is book two and i'm excited to own them they're ya fantasies that's all i know last stack of books are all gonna be from jean book nerd we know that i love jean book nerd i've been working with jean book nerd for forever i feel like forever literally um since 2015 i believe and um i get books outside of the book boxes you see at the top i also get books for review because i do sign up for her blog tours and things like that so i have quite a few from blog tours because we love blog tours of course like who doesn't love a good blog tour but I have two from the book boxes. And I feel like I'm missing one from a book box, but I think I'll hold it in my other video, which is why I'm not showing it. So the two that I got in book boxes are gonna be The Shadow Wand by Lori Forrest. Um, this is book three in the Black Witch Chronicles. I do not own book one or two. I have the ebooks of them, but I don't own physical copies, nor have I read it, but I know that it's YA Fantasy. And I'm here for this cover because like dragons much, please. Dragons. Um. So yeah, it's hardcover and I love it and it has deckled edges, which we love and there's nothing on the cover, but the font looks like that on the spine. So yeah, following that, I have another one. This is The Chosen Knights by Mary Ting. It's a part of the Secret Knight series. This is book one and this I know has to do with, I believe, Fallen Angels. Fallen Angels and it's YA Paranormal. That's all I know. I haven't read it yet. I plan to because it sounds interesting. So yeah. Okay, so now getting into the actual review books that I got from her. So the first one I got is Sparrow by Mary Cecilia Jackson. And this is going to be YA Contemporary. This is a little bit of a darker contemporary though. It does follow a ballet dancer um, who just loves and has a passion for ballet dancing. She ends up becoming the girlfriend to her crush. 
her crush is very popular he's very well known but unbeknownst to her he is really pretty much a douchebag and evil twisted jerk and this deals with abuse so if you're not into those type of stories this would not be the book for you but i used to do ballet um for about two years i gave up on ballet um but yeah i just i felt the connections with ballet so i decided to request it to for, for review and i kind of like the cover I like that pop of pink and um the book is black with pink gold. so we have that then i have chasing starlight by terry bailey black and this is um thriller mystery some type of mystery is all that I know, and it sounded epic when I requested it, so yeah, and I like the cover. The cover is pretty. This is an arc. This is from Tortine, um, so we have this beauty here. This book is almost really hefty. It's almost 500 pages. I wish it was 500 pages. Just saying, but yeah, we have this. Following that, we have Terraformer by Colleen Hulk, and this is going to be YA sci-fi slash dystopian. Um, I say more so sci-fi because it does deal with like plants and things like that. So we have this. And then lastly, I have two of literally my favorite, 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 favorite books from Jean Book Nerd. The Ruin of Kings by Jen Lyons, which is going to be, it's, I don't really know if it's marketed correctly to YA, but it is fantasy and it is freaking epic. It is over 500 pages. This is a phenomenal book. I have read book one. I fell in love with book one. So I did sign up for the block tour of the third book, which is A Memory of Souls. And in doing that, they said that we could request copies of books one and two. I have an arc of book one, but not a finished copy. So I have a finished copy of book one, The Ruin of Kings. So excited. And every time I go to Barnes and Nobles, I see this book, I pick it up and I put it back down. Now I have it. So, and it's a step back type of thing. So, yeah, that's that. Um, this will also be on my Tome Topple TBR. And then I have the sequel, which is The Name of All Things, book two, which I have not read. So I'm super, super excited to get back into the story with Talon and Karen and the world and the dragons and the demons and everything about it. So we have that but that's pretty much it for my book haul sorry this haul was all over the place i wanted to just record this haul to get it up so that i can do my bookshelf reorganization because i am in the process of reorganizing my bookshelves um with different rows and things like that so that is pretty much it for this video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye